So, you're about to watch my video on the Christmas 2 Minute Challenge, set it, setting it up. But what I realised is that I didn't really talk about the streamer bot too much. Because, in my head I thought, I'll browse over it because there's not really much to do with the streamer bot. But I want to do this, add this extra bit onto the beginning of the video. Just to go through the streamer bot stuff really quickly. And then... When I go through it, you'll notice that what things happen and how things work. So, this is it. You'll get your stream bot is two two sub actions: contribution and a finish. And you'll, when you finished watching all the video, you'll know that the where these are tied up. But let's not worry that for now. So, in the chat contribution one, there's two text GPI sources. They don't really need editing. You won't really touch them. But they edit the on screen text, so the GPI text. The next is where the math function comes in. Now, this is new to Streambot 15. So, what these top two do is they work out how much crop the bar needs to show how long along the challenge we are. So, it works out a percentage, and then it just that's what these do. Again, I won't touch these, but that's what they do. Again, they're in two because at the moment it don't work out one big thing. So it's worked out percentage, what percent I need, and then it's worked out taking it from the five, four, five, five, and working out how much crop I need. That's how it's done. And the next one, you'll notice this is where we change our channel point name. So whatever your name is, you can put this into this, and it'll and it'll fill it through just by changing the bottom box to whatever it is. Message, this is how you want the message to chat. It's got most of the variables in there, how I would word it, but that's kind of the base, you know. Use your creativity when you're doing this, you know, now. Use your creativity. That's what it's there for. But the only limit is your own imagination. OBS Raw, again, that won't need touching, as long as you, as long as you, unless you do something completely different, but it shouldn't need touching. And these shouldn't need touching. These bring it on, wait, take it off, wait again. And then it's finished. Again, it's the same thing. There's a message there. Edit however you like. Again, I'd like it as something quite basic. This updates the text to say, go met. You can say, mission complete. You could change that if you want to, but I like it as go complete. Brings it, brings it on, delays, takes it off. Delays again. I don't think that delay is in the code, and I don't think I mentioned it. But I would add it. So when I when I get to stream when you get stream about stuff, if that delay is not there, just right from this delay, you just press duplicate action, and it'll throw one at the bottom for you. And it'll be done. And that is pretty much all stream about does. So if you want to see the variables that you can use in this, if you go to um, your settings of general no. events, yeah it is, events, community go and you press on this little question mark it will show you all the variables you can use and that's how you check them but hope you enjoyed the video, let, do let me know what you think and I will see you for the next one so enjoy the video so, Streamer Rock 15 is here, and we've got some cool additions, so I'm going to show you how I use them to make a nice little community go on your screen. So, so everything you need is going to be on the perfect. Now, this is just not published yet, so this is what it looked like for me, but when you see it, you'll be able to download it. You can put in zero there, download, do whatever you want, download it. And you'll get a zip folder. The zip folder, it will contain these. It'll have an SB code, the install instructions, and the community sign sheet. So we'll open this stuff. So how to install. Use the source copy to load in the scene, and import the code into Streamer Bot. Okay, let's do that. So how to do that, very simple, tools, source copy, load scene, 
and you're going to find that that scene you just found. Let's and it's going to put it in. Yeah, you won't see it if you're off screen as well, though. But you will do it. Next thing is to go to SB. No, I've got to import the code, sorry. So we're going to open up Streamerbot. So now we have got our Streamerbot here. And we're going to right click this import. Now, when you've got this box, you can do one of two things. You can open this copy and paste this or you can drag and drop the file in there and we'll just import now next thing we say you've got to make sure you have that queue exists so we're going to go to settings general queues create a challenge blocking so I had to tick it this time press save 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 so now we know that that is there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go over to settings, event, security guard. Here. Now in here, you're going to select contribution, and here you're going to select finished. And that should be installed. Now if you're going to enter any updates, to your community girl, it should do this. So let's just say subs to YouTube 55 and it comes up. So it's so got a thousand and this 55 you see this bar is now smaller. Um everyone's gonna uh, always do this so let's do that. You can see in chat, you can't see in chat, so I'm going to show you chat. So you chat, you can see them posting messages in chat about how much they've donated and how much they've donated in total. So you could edit this. This is a little editation you could do. So this is the name of your points. So mine are called Bullseyes. So if you're going to stream a bot, actions, community, and you see this one channel point name is in bullseye you change this to whatever you want you could call it fairy dust fairy sparkles you do that press save when you go to OBS I mean save and test it it will then say they've donated fairy sparkles again if you saw my previous video about making the shout out thing change this is the same thing it can be edited but remember if you edit anything you've got to change the the transitions and that's a quick one for today um let me know what you think and we'll see you very soon for the big release ciao